Well, it's time now for our press review, and Diptika Laurent joins me here in the studio. Good morning. Hi, Nadia. Uh, you're going to be starting us off then taking a look at Marine Le Pen, uh, who was on the front pages in many newspapers this morning uh, after her national conference. That's right. That conference really does dominate the papers this Monday. She was re-elected leader of the far-right party on Sunday's conference. She also proposed renaming the party uh, from the National Front to the National Rally Party, Le Rassemblement National, in a bid really to soften the party hardline image for Libération, the left-leaning paper. However, nothing is going to really change. Their headline reads Rassemblement, but you see the A is uh, crossed out with an E, Rassemblement, which in French means resemble, meaning, uh, you know, new name, same party. Perhaps as proof of that, Libé's editors remind us today that the National Front's deputy party uh, leader, his name is Davy Rodriguez, he, who was sort, sort of the ambassador of the party rebranding, well, he's been suspended and was not present on Sunday at the conference after he was accused of making racist comments towards staff while drunkenly leaving a bar on the weekend. Libé is pretty disgusted, saying, I quote, the label of the party may change, but it's the same bottle that continues to mix the same poison. That said, though, Deep T, uh, it's possible that this name change might not even happen at all. No, feasibly, uh, at least legally, it might not happen, uh, according to the Huffington Post, which says that the name National Rally has already been copyrighted by Igor Kurek, a French politician who's head of a party called Rallying for France. According to the website, Kurek has said in no uncertain terms will he cede the name to the far-right party. His party is also a right-leaning party, but a more moderate uh, Republican party. And I quote Kurek, Kurek, who says, never will the name become the name of the party of the far right. It's believed that he created this uh, party uh, to rival, possibly, Irk, the then deputy leader of the National Front Party, Florian Philippot. So a bit of cruel irony for the National Front there. Uh, and lots of the papers then been talking about the presence of an American character there, uh, Steve Bannon. That's right. It was, it's hard really to talk about the uh, conference without mentioning Steve Bannon's explosive presence. He was seated with uh, Main Le Pen at a gala dinner on Saturday. He also took to the stage on Sunday during the conference where he told party members to, I quote, let them call you racists, let them call you xenophobes, let them call you nativists, wear it as a badge of honor. Now, Bannon was there really as an observer of the worldwide far-right movement, but he did have high praise for one person, Marine Le Pen's niece, Mayo Maréchal, Maréchal Le Pen, who one day could be the head of the far-right party. He called her one of the most impressive people in the world. He's also promised, I'm not quite sure how he intends to do this, but he's promised to bring victory to the far French far-right in the French 2022 elections. I quote, saying, history is on our side. Moving on then, Deep T, uh, Emmanuel Macron, the president in India, and that's also been making plenty of headlines this morning. That's right. He made his first uh, visit as French president over the weekend. He was welcomed in grand style by his counterpart Narendra Modi, and the two have agreed on a host of lucrative contracts uh, in the region particularly. Now, Macron was also able to enjoy a bit of downtime with his wife Brigitte. They visited the Taj Mahal together, a burial ground of love from Emperor Shah Jahan to his wife, a private visit Le Monde says, but one that was hardly private because the French, French first couple were accompanied by their official photographer, three press advisors, a diplomatic advisor, the French ambassador to India, as well as all the accompanying journalists. So hardly a private visit, but they did make a point to travel in an electric car in a bid to promote green energy. Finally from you then, Deepti, uh, the British press, as we've been talking a little bit about, are preparing for the wedding of Meghan Markle and uh, Prince Harry. Well, this is from the French local paper 20 Minute, which reports that Meghan Markle's dress could cost as much as £400,000. Now, it's all speculation, of course, but apparently the price, uh, the cost of the dress has doubled. But I guess you only get married once, right? That's the theory, Deepti. <laughs> Thanks very much indeed. Deepti Deep, 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 there with our press review this morning.